just like abuse. Abuse doesn't have to be uh, with somebody you don't know. Yeah. You understand? It even happens, even in marriages, even in relationships. Rape happens. We've had cases where um, a boy dating a girl, a girl is raped because we had, you had sex with her without her consent. That is it. It's consent. Anything that is coerced through penetration is rape. If you don't want it, it's rape. If it and feels it, uncomfortable, it's rape. Is it by force? Yes. What, are, what do you men feel when you've, you've paid Sijigi small, small monies here for booze that, okay, so I don't want to it, but I don't want to do it, I don't want to And just because I said no, what, what, what do you guys feel that you end, the end result is things like violence and the rape and such kind of things? It's just feeling entitled in somebody's space. And then a pana, men doesn't take a pana as a pana. We take it as rejection. Like when I cut a jar and I make buy a glen finish. That's why I'm telling you. When you buy a tool, you can't buy a pamoja. You can buy. You can buy, but you can't buy a kunya. You just wanted, you just wanted my company. Yeah, so with or without you, but don't get kunya. You can't get kunya. Yeah, so only kujaku yeah, kunya. I mean, but I'm kunya. Yeah, so we feel entitled. The fact that we kunya. Glenn Fidich yangu, yangu <laughs> na niko na wewe eh, inamanisha eh, the end product is somewhere you understand which is not the case it uh -huh. can't always be sex it can't always be sex when you can't a girl just have fun can't a girl just have fun alone that's the question yes girls can have fun alone and if you see a woman in the club sitting there alone let her be urena kumchokoza alafu umempata kijinunulia Nini is man of yake wona kuja po kumangushia champagne. Una mangushia champagne. Moe. Ama moe. Umongeze, umongeze, umongeze vitu. vitu. Afungune, fungune macho. Alafu wanze kuambia. Let me take you home. Na unajua. Honestly, your time ajui kwa, kwa keata ni wapi. Yeah. And then you wake up. You're in somebody's bed. And you're naked. Which is wrong. Which is wrong. So I think as men. Again. We need to man up. We need to. It doesn't have to end. Uh, in rape. When a lady says no, we need to respect that no as an answer. And sleeping with a lot of women does not mean you'll get a trophy. There is no trophy. It doesn't even show might. The more women you sleep with, the more risk you have of STDs, mm. HIV, mm -hmm. this, this, this sexual transmitted diseases. Mm. And even how many kids will you have? You'll keep on impregnating women right, yeah, left and, and center. And, 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 and then you water, can't... You don't even support. Yes, you can't support them. Yeah. You see, they, they have consequences. So it doesn't show might. I don't think it shows that you're powerful because of how many number of women you're sleeping with at a time. It doesn't. Actually, it shows how disrespectful you are. To the, fact, are, that you even ha that to the fact that you might one day even be a parent no, to it, a woman. Yes. No, you'd be, uh, you, you'd, you'd be a father to a daughter. To a daughter. Okay? Mm. And then you imagine somebody is using them the way You've been using women. You understand? Yeah. How it it, it, it it's a vicious circle. And, and and things and things 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 that 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 grow like that are very dangerous. They are very dangerous. Because let me tell you, if if you live with hate, like today, you've grown up hating men. And then you have a son. He's a man. Does that hate continue? No. No, it doesn't stop. Your hate for men is still there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And your son is a man. So it means even this hatred is even still living there with you in your blood. Oh, you have a blood that you hate. So how does it, how does it happen? So men should just know, and even, even women alike, mm -hmm. that there are things we do uh, thinking it ends just there, but we will live with those memories forever. You understand? Yeah. Just the same way, um, we need to stop victim blaming and victim shaming. When yeah. somebody has said they've been raped, all you need to do is sympathize, empathize, like, be there for this person because you see the dignity has been lost. This is something you can never replace. 
and then this is a person that is going to live with this trauma PTSD forever. forever. You understand? Yeah. Yes, for the rest of their lives. And then you want to tell me now this man is here proud that I raped somebody. I raped a child, I raped somebody's mother. Even the people I raped somebody's who sleep sister. with 2-year-olds. There, there's a case it's, that was like yeah, that it's by disgusting. the way. Disgusting. Yeah? It's it, it's totally disgusting because tell me how do I explain that a father has slept with his child, a two-year-old daughter. A two-year-old daughter. You Imagine. understand? You understand? Yeah. It's very disgusting. Such people should be given life imprisonment, even death sentences. That it's just supposed to be as simple as that. If you if if you rape somebody, you're given a death sentence. But you see, like the people who have who have established themselves, like the fifty-year-olds plus, like you said they manage to manipulate their way and get out of prison of me they uh, sometimes they at our lali at your prison dani at our prison our lali at our cell dani for a day because yeah. they have the money to bribe their way around that again that is unfortunate that's unfortunate that sometimes our our justice and judicial system fails us as a people you understand mm. but we have organizations and 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 but those and organizations activists. are not going to jail anyone no they help push the agenda you understand yeah yeah that's that that's 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 why there's activism that's what activism is all about you understand mm -hmm. that's why we have kenya human rights commission you understand in as much as uh uh this is gonna take time but at least it's being worked on and what what happens to the people who say that they ha they need you to pay them for them to push your agenda? Uh, now that comes to corruption. Yeah. Uh, again, it's a failure on our, on our on our judicial system that we still think for us to for you 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 put there to serve the people, but you still think for you to serve these people they still have to pay you, which is not it's not it's not even when you, when you listen to it, it's not even logical. So it don't you think that uh, that is one thing that it that is leading to these cases being muted in the society? Sabu, kama mimi sina pesa and I'm a victim and le, I'm I'm 17 years old. I've never seen anybody's office, yes. so I am a rape victim. Yes. I go seek for help, and then they say that when you need to pay some a certain amount yes. of money for us to see your case through. Yeah. So what happens to those kind of people? Where can they get help? Um, that's exactly what I told you. Uh, I don't know how to. I've, I've just forgotten this cover and get in, in full, but you see such organizations. Even in the police station, there's mm. a, there's a section for people who've been sexual, uh, sexually sexual violence. Mm -hmm. Yes, you go there, you report, and these organizations they help you. You understand? They help you. They'll go with you through court, and even uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, I think it's still it, it's still Kenya Kenya Human Rights. They they hold pro bono legal process for the people who've been raped, so they 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 they'll help you, they'll assist you, but that's not it doesn't end there. We need to do civic education about rape. We need to uh, we need to do uh, we need to do conduct campaigns about rape awareness so that people know because today uh, a 16 year old will be raped when 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 she goes and tells the mother the mother will be like, "Nani mekuwa rape Uncle John." Wait, Nyamaza. Nyamaza. Uncle John na jena na anakulipia school fees. Exactly. And then now she doesn't even know that she has to to remove her panty and put in a polythene and keep as 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 as, as, as exhibit. Yeah. You understand? And then she needs to go to report to a police station within seventy two hours and see a, a, a medical practitioner. A PMW, a fanyi, a nini nini nini. They don't know that. So you see, those are things that we need to even. It doesn't end as. A, at women, even men, they need to come in and speak up, stand up for, for, for our sisters, stand up for our mothers, stand up for our daughters, you understand? And, and educate them that, you know, if somebody touches you in a way you don't feel comfortable, speak up, stand up and speak about it. Okay? Mm. When you say it, when it's known, at least it's half we're solving that problem because we'll get to this person like, yes, you did this, you did this, you did this. You understand? We take you to court and then now we see from there what happens. Because of course now we can't take matters in our own hand. If it was in my powers, I'd kill you. If it was in my powers, you raped my daughter, you raped my sister, mm. you raped my mother. It doesn't, I'll, I'd kill you, honestly. 
Okay, that's a strong one. Yeah, it's a strong one because <coughs> this is somebody even if they have to they have to live with it. And 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 and, and it's not just strong like like that. These rape cases have led to death. That's true. So how how do we how do we how do we how do we even justify how, how do we quit? How do we quit that now mine will be bad? Then and yes. and than than what then he did. What he, than what he did. Ah, well, it's it's really sad. It's it's really sad. But let me ask you: yes. Why is it that these guys, these men, are yearning for the young blood anyway? What is it with the young blood? It's I don't know. Ni ni kama ki vampire hivi. They are just yani. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not about even yearning. Um. Um. <laughs> What is it really? Me, I'm yet to understand. I think new things. You can't teach an, an, an old dog new ways. So you have to tell me that old dog has been doing this since time memorial. Yes, and there are things that are now are coming up that these old dogs can't do. And these young ducks can do them. What do you mean? Expound on that. <laughs> <laughs> Expound on that. Yeah, the things the things me, older men I think don't find in older women that they find in in in, in, in What in is younger. that? Like new sex positions, exactly. flexibility, the, things like that. Like you can you can have these BDSM things that people see in in movies and and, and whatnot with this with these young girls and they can't do that with their, their older women or wives. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it's like they're trying to fulfill their fantasies. But still, if you're fulfilling your own fantasy, why kill somebody's child? Yeah, it's, un it's, it's unfortunate that it ends there in death. So what would you tell, what, you, what would you tell the young ladies and what would you tell the young men? Because at the end of the day, you say that uh, the, our, young, our, our youngies are, have become very lazy and they do not want to work for their money as much as we have tried to empower them. Because the, yeah. uh, the, the female empowering has been there for quite some time right now and it's something good because education has been given to the girl child but I still think that uh, in such kind of situations you've been trying to empower women so much that you have forgotten how to raise our male children. Mm. What can you say about that in general? Um, what I tell um, young people, both, 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 both men, both ladies and, and, and gentlemen, mm. uh, is that there's no pressure in life. You're not competing with anyone. Your life is yours and everything will be et established in its own time. We should not let uh, social media pressure. So the biggest thing is social media. Social media and, and just how, how we look at life in general. You understand? Yeah. Uh, we are age mates, I'm driving or not. You start thinking. And you can't. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we should just be who we are. Let's not try be who we are not. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yeah. Like how now this story is a lot. Uh, somebody has given you standards that they can't provide for themselves. You want me to take you to Kempiski? I take you there. If I leave you there, can you pay the bill? Can you take yourself back to where you came from? No. No. So why do you want to go there? Mbona to see Kibanda. Yeah, yeah, but so why? Well, Hunter, on, uh, on the previous uh, interview with uh, one of the ladies, the victim said that for her, yes. I, asked, I asked them what they think uh, would be the correct judgment or punishment for a rapist. And uh, the, victim, one, uh, the victim said that she would forgive the guy and let the judges do their job. What do you think about that? Um, forgiveness is fine. Mm -hmm. you, you can forgive. That's, that's from your heart. You understand? Mm -hmm. But by forgiving, you don't forgive and, and act like you are a rape apologist. And then you start using misogynistic words like you don't, it is our two, unafikiria uh, after that. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now, if you, you don't care now what happens after he raped you and you gave him 
So mm, then he goes, then he he goes on, woman, rapes another, another woman. Do you understand? It's okay to forgive. And even forgiveness is a process. Yeah. Forgiveness is a process that doesn't come like, I, I forgive you. No. So even for a rape victim to say, uh, they've forgiven someone, I think it's something they've, 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 they've thought about. You understand? But you see, you still live with the trauma of being raped. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. It doesn't go and away. The, and the rapist gets the entitlement to rape other people, other people because, because he, he it, says... Ah, I'm rape na mimi li msamehea. And sit, afanyiwe tu ni mungu ata judge. And then we've, we've overclouded our nini. We've been brainwashed by, 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 by religion, so to say. You that is the, that is That is our number one weakness, I yeah, think, Yeah, we've Africans. been washed. You can't say it now because you are born again. It's okay, you, it's God to judge, and not you, honestly. Mm. It's, not, it's, it's not, yes, it's, it's her opinion, it's her. It, it's what she feels mm. about yeah. what was done for yeah. her. But then, again, for me, I think sometimes uh, we misuse uh, uh, being born again and, and, and this religion, religious stuff, mm -hmm. because there's no way, uh, even in the Bible, uh, people who people who sinned and people who did uh, all these crazy things, if yeah. they didn't apologize to God and whatever, there's a time Jesus even came people in the synagogue because they were doing something that was not right. Ali kasirika yaani. Ali kasirika kasema, eh, zi, maze, amwezi kuja kuza apa. Munaelewa? You do not have respect. Yes, so, akawa chapa, akawa toa. So, in as much as, 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 as you're born again, you're born, we can't be sympathizing with people, rapists. No. It's, there, there's no two-way traffic about it. It is only one way. So our millennial said that for her, she feels like the, 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 the rapist should also be raped or sodomized so that they can feel what their victim felt. What do you I, think? That comes now with vengeance. Uh, that's what people feel. And, and you know, you, ju you, you just said that if, uh, if somebody did such a thing, yes. such an act to your I'll daughter, you, if it is in your yes. power, you'd kill yes. them. So our millennial thinks that even if it is not in her power, yeah. the judicial system should look at a way of punishing these people yes. in a manner that it was we are mm. uh, these inc incidences could be repeated. And, and that can only be through death sentence, uh -huh. that they are in the prison forever. Uh -huh. They are never out here. Because if I sodomize you and then I leave you out here, you'll just go sodomize somebody else and then rape again. You see? Yeah. It doesn't... Me sodomize it you. It's a bit of a way of doing it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to stop there. It doesn't stop there. Mm. These guys are... These people are monsters. Mm -hmm. Huh? They are monsters living. They are, they, are, they, are, they are devils. So if I sodomize you and leave you, you'll go, actually you'll go rape and sodomize somebody else. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Yeah. And it will become a chain. And it will become a chain. And again, even now talking about sodomy, uh, men, it, it, statistics says men don't talk about them being raped sad enough yeah it's very sad yeah. and they do you know they're also victims yeah but we shy away from from saying accepting that we are raped so mm. i think even as men we need to stand up when 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 we are raped uh, call, call these people out call these people out just come out you'll be you'll be you'll be assisted you'll be helped you'll have somebody to talk up to talk to and and, and just to share what happened to you understand so and by the hunter do you know that the reason why there are very many gays is because of the sodomism when they're young yes yes it's and it's funny enough but uh, i think that is one of the things that have yeah even the other day we were talking with my friend yeah and um they were saying we need to start rethinking even of taking this our kids to boarding schools and and whatnot because this is where this thing starts they are being raped in these boarding okay. schools that are, 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 you know, just male boarding schools. Yeah, even yeah, those yeah. bullies. So you, you, you're seeing the, the character traits of your, of your kid has changed. But you see, they can't say what is wrong. They're even, they're, they're even afraid of what will happen if they say. But in conclusion, men should understand that the word no means no. Yes. 
And yes means yes. Maybe means maybe. There's no maybe. It's just a yes and a no. And there is no maybe. It's a yes and a no. No, yes. Because maybe, maybe is like I'm leading you on that. Or, oh, yeah. probably you're just saying maybe now you'd want it later. Yeah. You understand? When you're, when you're told yes, it's yes. Mm. When I say no, no it's, it's no. no. And silence means no. And silence means no. Yes. It's, it's high time. It's high time. It's high time. Well, thank you, Hunter, for coming in. And um, as you have heard from a man's perspective, rape or rather rapists should be hanged. And I hope that we can all join hands and see this move being passed. Thank you very much and uh, see you on our next episode. As always, I love you all and mwah, see you again. <laughs>